Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, we're going to make a pictogram chart in Excel. So a pictogram chart looks like this. So you have an icon or an image or a silhouette, a vector icon, and then you want to transform it into something like this. So the let's say we have this percentage 95.6 and we want the corresponding portion of the picture to reflect the 25.6 element. So this one is something that Excel cannot do on its own because uh, we need a picture to be uh, imposed on a shape. And that would be the job of PowerPoint. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy the vector or the silhouette that you want to get or the icon. You then go to PowerPoint and obviously paste that in. Now, the next thing is we're going to create our shape, the shape that will sort of house our element. And then we're going to send it to the back so that if I put the chart, uh, the cat, the icon over, it will be behind. <clears throat> Now I'm going to impose now the, the path here. And the next thing that I want to happen is I'm going to merge these two shapes. So I'm going to click the box first and then use shift to click the icon. So now that we've clicked the uh, cat icon and the shape, we will then copy both at the same time and we're going to paste it as a picture so right click and then they should see an option that allows you to paste as picture so that will sort of like merge the icon and the shape as one and then the next thing that we're going to do now that they are technically considered as one and take note this is not the same as grouping this is more of merging them as in really merging them as just one object We'll then go to picture format and we're going to change the color of the cat by making it transparent. So under the color, you should see set transparent color and we're going to make the cat transparent. So we're going to put the mouse or the cursor over the cat, which will make it transparent. And from there, we can now change the color of the shape. You could have done this a while ago, but now I'm just going to do it here. So now we have this picture that has a cat, okay, that is transparent. We can then bring this, copy this to Excel. So let's say I'm going to put it here. And then just paste it as regular so that the transparency is still there. And then the next thing that we're going to do would be the percentage. So let's say we have the actual, which is 78, and the target, which is, let's say, 90. And then we're going to divide that. So actual divided by 90, so we get 86%. So we'll format it okay, as percentage, so it looks nice. So we're going to create a bar that will sort of like increase and decrease as this value changes. So for that, you simply have to click that one cell where the percentage is and then insert a column chart. Now we have to remove a lot of the elements in this chart. So we don't need the axis, we don't need the title, we don't even need the grid lines. What you really need is just the bar. Take note that this bar updates okay depending on the values so we have to do something about that we will right click on the bar and then format the data series and we're going to make the gap with a zero okay, uh, in doing so it the bar will occupy the entire uh, chart we can put it like that we have to stop the chart from updating its axis. We would see that it's sort of like updates, okay? So we have to right click on it and then format the data series. 
okay and this time we have to change the axis so let's go here and bring back the axis for a while and then for the axis we have to go here and then we're going to make the axis options instead of uh, 0.6 or instead of making it adjust it will always stick at a maximum of one and a minimum of zero so because of that if we have changes in our um, actual value then the 100 percent stays the same it doesn't adjust like what we saw a while ago and that's it we will can we can then remove the axis again and see that it's not adjusting anymore so the next thing now is we're going to put this cat over here and make it uh, bring it to the front so that when i impose it here then it will be right up on top of our chart okay and one way to check if you're doing it right is make it 100% first so that you'll plot the cat properly over the bar. Okay, there you go. You can increase the bar like that so it fills the entire width of the cat. Oops. Okay, and there it is. So if ever there are changes like that, percent or 50 then we have like almost full all right finally we just have to change the border okay of this it's not going to show up there so format the chart area and make a no line border maybe even make it no fill but let's leave it that way and there you have it we now have our pictogram chart see you in the next video